Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna to be reviewing the all-wheel drive Mercedes Sprinter. Before we get in this video, I wanna give a huge shout out and thank you to the Southtown Imports here in Southtown, Utah for giving me some time with this Sprinter. I'm going to include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. They've got a bunch of cool cars right now. They have a Z06 Corvette for sale. They've got a couple Raptor Rs, and obviously this Sprinter as well. So seriously, check them out. Link to their inventory in the description down below. And then on a side note, if you can save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below as well. Let's get into it. Powering this is a turbo diesel two liter four cylinder that goes through a nine speed automatic transmission. Now this is the high output version. So it puts out a whopping 211 horsepower and then 332 pound feet of torque. Now, before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention, if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. Starting with the hood, it's this cool metallic gray, and then I like the venting there at the top as well. And then popping down below, you guys can see here with the LED headlights, and then notice with the Mercedes logo front and center, we do have a camera there at the front and then parking sensors at the bottom as well. And putting it all together, you guys can see it's a pretty big beast, and it kind of has more of a lifted appearance that's part of the all-wheel drive part of the Sprinter. Now around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 245, 75, 16 in the front and over in the rear. You guys can see the Mercedes logo there, front and center. And notice how it has this kind of like lifted appearance. That's just what you get with the all wheel drive models. The two wheel drive models, they're definitely lower down, which is kind of like a big benefit of going all wheel drive. Obviously the all wheel drive system, but then you have a little bit more clearance. Anyways, putting it all together, it has a really cool look and you can imagine like if you took this and just put some off-road tires on it, it would completely transform the look, but stock, it already looks pretty cool, I think. Now here's a quick look at the key fob. We have our lock and unlock function. You got the Mercedes logo there front and center as well. And then actually popping inside, you guys can see we've got the door here, which we can open up. And the cool thing about the Sprinter is the doors open up very, very wide, as you can see. And then we have the latch here, so we can open up the other side. And then same thing, so we just keep kind of pushing. And I'll give you guys a full view of this in a second, but yeah, it just keeps going. So the lighting's kind of horrible for the shop, but you guys get the point with the doors being open, so it means accessing the cargo area is very easy. Now you have this little extension here that you can kind of use as a step to get up into the interior here. And notice we actually already have flooring here in the back, which I think is really cool and it's really tall in here like you could be a bit over you could probably be a bit over six foot and still be able to fit uh back here which is great um but yeah i mean this is pretty much all set up to get ready to have some conversion happening to it um but I'll kind of show you guys i guess a little bit more of it i don't know it's a cargo van it's kind of empty but it also has lights inside which is great now when you close the doors always remember to do them in the correct order so you gotta do that door first and then pop over here and do this door second. Now finishing things up with the rest of the rear, obviously absolutely enormous. And if we take a closer look, you guys can see the taillight design there and then all of the badges here on the back. And then like most cargo vans, we've got the sliding door here on the side and that obviously accesses the cargo area we were just in. And it also has a step. Now before we move forward, we gotta look at the payload capacity. 3,635 pounds, quite impressive. This is a 2,500 if you don't know. And then taking a look at the door panel, it's pretty basic with the material use. It's supposed to be easier to clean, again, more utilitarian type vehicle. But there's tons of storage here on the door panel. You can see stuff like the door lock and unlock. You've got your window controls, mirror adjustments, the mirrors do power fold in, and they have blind spot monitoring. And then taking a look at the seats here, really nice trim all over. The seats are manually adjustable. And then you've got some light control action here, and then the steering wheel is manually adjustable as well. Now taking a look at the steering wheel, again pretty basic with material use all around, but we do have paddles there on the back of the 9-speed automatic so you can shift the gears yourself if you want. We got a bunch of practical controls in the front, so this is for like the infotainment system, your volume voice command controls, we got our cruise control here, controls for that center stack, then you guys can see here with the turn signal slash windshield wiper stock, and then we have a column shifter here on the back as well in normal Mercedes fashion. Now we've got this gauge cluster analog for the most part, but we do have a screen here in the center which we can use to see different bits of info on stuff within the Sprinter itself. Again, pretty standard setup. A lot of modern vehicles have something like that. Now this does have a 360 camera system, which I think is awesome. Definitely 
a nice thing to have on a cargo van because again, we don't have windows in the back. And so being able to see all around, I think helps out quite a bit. And then as for the rest of the infotainment system, it's very responsive, um, easy to use. It is obviously pretty small, but again, cargo van, you know, usually don't expect to get something too crazy. Um, but you can also, again, control it with the steering wheel, which is what I'm doing right now. Looks like there's little bits of storage here on the dash, which is pretty cool. And then also, I forgot to mention, got circular vents, which always a fan of those. And then you have these little like storage cubbies here on the front. I guess you could put your phone in there, for example. And then some analog controls down below and then more analog control action, but that's for the climate system. And then some cup holders. Then you guys can see the storage space right there, kind of like a uh, glove box, basically. And then we have some controls for a few functions up here. And at the very top, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it or not. We do have some storage. Um, it's just above the sun visor. Pretty typical thing for a cargo van. Now this is a pre-owned vehicle, so the pricing on this will reflect whatever the market value is. But this is the original window sticker um, with the vehicle. You guys can see 3.9 to 3 axle ratio, pretty aggressive. Um, but you can see the stand equipment and then we've got the uh, optional equipment over here. But this is the crazy thing about the Sprinter. So you can see the base MSRP and this has like $20,000 in options uh, from the factory. Pretty insane how that all works. Um, but yeah, 69,405. And the most interesting thing is all wheel drive is 6,400 bucks on this. Anyways, let's see how it drives. Let's talk about visibility before we set off here. You guys can see visibility over the hood, both the mirrors do a blind spot monitoring, and yeah, no windows. But again, so we got the 360 camera system, which will help out. By the way, I love column shifters now. Um, it's something that it, it definitely takes some time for it to, for them to grow on you. But like once, once you get used to the column shifter life, it's like, you don't want anything else because it's so seamless, at least with the Mercedes column shifters, cause it's just a little click. So like in a tight space like this, right? It's just boom, 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 boom. And it's easy for me to get out of the tight space. So I don't know. I think it's pretty, I think it's pretty cool. Um, now, with that being said, still a big beast, right? So, it does take a little bit to get, uh, oh, wrong thing. There we go. It does take a little bit to get used to the Sprinter just based on the sheer size of this thing. Um, now, the next thing is, you know, so far it's actually pretty dang easy to drive. Although, it, even though it is so big, really good torque out of the diesel. Really good torque out of the diesel. So I think that's a big plus. Transmission's very smooth. Look at that. Gotta love Mercedes nine speed. It's a really good transmission. Don't worry, it's just my tripod. Oh, he's taking L's. Yeah, I love how this drives so far. Again, you're gonna you're gonna get some of the bumpiness and everything because it's a cargo van. You know, when it's unloaded, they are a little. It's not uncomfortable, but it is a little bit bumpy on the back. It's not bad. I think I might end up calling this the Lamborghini of cargo vans, right? <laughs> it's really it drives really well though. Seriously. And this diesel's got so much torque. Like this, it's crazy that this is a two liter four cylinder because it feels a lot stronger than that. Handles well too. I mean, obviously in this type of condition, I'm not gonna be able to notice the difference between the all wheel drive and the rear wheel drive Sprinter. But I guess what I can tell you is it seems to me that it just just goes. Tons of grip, tons of tons of that. It's really good. Oh, we got lucky. I love getting lucky with lights. It's like the best part of my day. This thing hauls. Wow. Well, I, I don't know. I love diesels. I'm all about diesels. So yeah, let's get into setting things up here with the Sprinter. Um, so 
I think the features are great with this. Look how cool that one looks, by the way. This powertrain's great. It's got good power. The transmission just, it's really good. It's got great torque. So this, this just decimates the Ram ProMaster. Now with the Ford Transit, I think that's a worthy competitor. Um, but with the Transit, the only Transit I really like is the all wheel drive with the twin turbo V6. Um, outside of that, the Transit's kind of like meh. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, all wheel drive, twin turbo V6. Then it's like, yeah, that's a cool vehicle. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about the Sprinter. But I, I do think this might be, in fact, the Lamborghini of cargo vans because it just drives really well. It's got a great powertrain. Um, and I, there's just not really anything uh, bad that I can say about it. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about the Sprinter.